I stand to um, reply to the remarks of my colleague from the 32nd District on the earned income tax credit. And um, my colleague has said that there are over $300 million in quote unquote savings. But let's be straight with the voters. It represents a tax increase on those who can least afford it if you get rid of the earned income tax policy. Now, there are many people in state government who, frankly, I don't think understand what this tax is, what this earned income tax credit is. I've heard comments from people in the executive office to people who hold gavels in this body saying that it's a handout for people who are not working. Well, let's really talk about the facts because this is about helping people who are working they are working. They're doing the best they can. As Ronald Reagan said, this is the best anti-poverty, best pro-family, best job creation measure to come out of Congress. That was Ronald Reagan's words. The earned income tax dollars are spent directly into our commerce stream. So when the chair of appropriation says, do we need it? Can we afford it? What's it worth? I agree. That is the test that we should be applying. We should be applying that test to all $38 billion of tax expenditures. If it's good public policy, let's keep it. And if it's bad public policy, let's vote it out. But that requires real scrutiny of the whole tax code and every gimmick therein. I would say if you put the metrics up, and we're all talking about metrics these days, the earned income tax credit metrics, you could put them up against any of the other of the glorified earmarks that are in our tax code, and there, you wouldn't find any that has a better return on our investment that helps people and returns money to the stream of commerce. So I gotta tell you, I'm with the Gipper on this one. I think the earned income tax credit should stay because it's one of the most, one of the best public policies that we have on the books to actually help the working people of the state of Michigan. I ask that my comments be printed in the journal.